I think the number one biggest hurdle is that your first is going to be your worst video. Okay, you're going to be embarrassed by it. But if you go and, and there's someone that you follow on YouTube or there's someone that you follow and for example, I've been watching these videos about Subaru and how Subarus have these all-wheel drive systems, right? And so you're you're seeing all these these guys that just have these really rough videos, but they're showing you how they they tweak their Subaru or whatever. But if you go back to their very first video, it's rough. But that's the way you do. You deconstruct someone you follow and you kind of notice the pattern. First, they just started doing it. Then they started to figure out what their unique perspective was. And then they started to refine over a little time. And I think that's the way that the folks that are listening should consider it. It's like, just start, just start doing your reps and make some ugly ones. Let's be proud of those. Let's, let's put them on the wall. And like, this was video number one, but right now we're at video number 700 that who knows, but you have to start somewhere. What are some ways that you can give us to help us like get past those, uh, those mental barriers. Yeah. I mean, you, you've given the first, my first best tip that I could give you is you have to make that first crappy video. There's just no getting around it. And you're, you're going to always look back on it. And it's like, Oh, what was I doing? But I can guarantee that if you can get that one done, well, all you then need to do is look at that and say, what's one thing I think I could do a little bit better in video two. And then in video two, do the same thing in, uh, you know, video 10, video 100, video 700. If you keep doing that, you'll get considerably better over time, but it takes time. And I think that's one of the things I'll, I'll just mention is that I think a lot of people fail at making video because they make that first one and they're like, oh, this isn't good. I didn't like it, you know, and then they don't make a video too. Well, you're, you're never going to get better, but there are things you can do. So I have th like kind of an order of operations in terms of things that you should invest in first. Uh, the first thing is you're gonna do, you know, just make whatever video, use your phone, use whatever you've got. But as soon as you're ready, the first investment I'd make is improve your audio. You know, even if your video is not gonna look great, it's not gonna be well lit or, or, or shaky or whatever, your audio really matters. People will stop watching bad audio. They will, you know, we can have blurry video or we can have pixelated video or shaky video, but they'll they'll probably stick with it if they're interested. But if the audio is terrible, they're not gonna, they're gonna just stop. So that's the first thing. You know, obviously then you wanna stabilize your device to make sure you've got a tripod or something you can put it on. And then you can go to other equipment, like then you can start worrying about lighting or cameras if you wanna continue investing. But from a practicality standpoint of outside of the tools, thing is you've got a process. Like, I like what you said about deconstructing, Steve. It's, it's so important to go see what other people are doing, but don't try to compare yourself to their 700th video because mm -hmm. they'll, they'll have done this process. Go find some earlier videos of people that you admire and look to see what they did there. That doesn't mean you can't steal good ideas from the 700th right. video, but go look at those early ones. And then instead of just trying to free form thinking, you know, everything, write yourself a script. I it's can, it can be tough. It's like, what do I, am I going to say, but it will control exactly your language. So that way, you know what to say. You don't have to make it up. You don't have to be good on camera. You know, some people really don't like the idea of looking at a camera. They don't like seeing themselves. They don't like hearing themselves. A script helps control some of that. So that's a piece of advice I'd give. Next is think about what you're going to show. What are the visuals? You know, are you, is it going to be you just talking to the camera like we're doing here? Or, you know, are you going to have a PowerPoint presentation that you're going to record and turn into a video? Do you want ant like graphics and just sketch those out? Don't have, they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be pretty, but just make some, figure out what you want to show so that you're going to get an alignment between your voice, what's being said, and what's being shown. Hey, thanks for watching these golden nuggets. And as a reward, I got another big fat golden nugget just for you. I wrote this book for you to help you get your act together online so you can grow your business better. You're searching, you want to learn. This is a great book. Grab the book.
grow your business. Amazing, right? <laughs>